Saint Elizabeth Seton. Feast day, January 4th. Early life. Saint Elizabeth Seton was born on August 28, 1774, in New York. Her parents are Richard Bailey and Catherine Charlton. Her mother was a very religious person. In 1777, when she was just three years old, her mother passed away. After her mother's death, her father remarried to Charlotte Amelia Barclay. A few years later, my stepmother divorced her father and went her separate way. Her father became busy a lot, so St. Elizabeth and her sister moved in with her aunt and uncle. Quick fact, St. Elizabeth liked writing poetry and playing the piano. Marriage On January 25, 1794, at the age of 19, St. Elizabeth married William Maggie Seaton. William Seaton was from a rich family. They had five children, Anna Maria, William, Richard, Catherine, and Rebecca Seaton. Even after being married, St. Elizabeth still took care of the poor and donated money to charity as her former stepmother used to do. After her father-in-law died, her husband and his six younger siblings moved in with the family. In 1798 to 1800, the French Republic started to attack American shipping boats. The Seaton family went bankrupt. Saint Elizabeth had to move back in her father's house with her family. In fact, Saint Elizabeth lived right next to what is currently the Church of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary in New York. Conversion A while after she married William, he began to suffer from tuberculosis. The doctors advised her to send him to Italy for the warmer climate, so they moved to Italy. When they reached Italy, they were quarantined because they were suspected to have brought the yellow fever from America. William died on December 27, 1803. He was buried in Italy's old English cemetery. The new widow joined the Catholic Church on March 14, 1805. She was confirmed a year later in 1806. She then started a school for young girls. St. Elizabeth was about to move to Canada when she heard some priests were going to start a seminary. In fact, St. Elizabeth was confirmed by John Carroll, who was the first Bishop of America. Founding St. Elizabeth co-founded the first Catholic seminary in the United States of America with Louise William Valentine. A year later, she created St. Joseph's Academy and Free School. She then also created the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph, based off the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul. Quick fact, St. Elizabeth was known as Mother Seton for the rest of her life. Quote, Oh my God, forgive what I have been correct what I am, and direct what I will be. This quote was said by Saint Elizabeth. Death For a while Saint Elizabeth was very sick and weak, both mentally and physically. She died of tuberculosis on January 4th, 1821, at the age of 46. 
After her death, the Sisters of Charity created orphanages and schools in New Orleans and Cincinnati. In 1850, the Daughters of Charity, a group created by St. Vincent de Paul, and the Sisters of Charity merged and created the first American branch together, just as St. Elizabeth wanted. Multiple schools, hospitals, streets, and religious groups were named after her. Big fact! Today, six big religious communities started off with the Sisters of Charity. Canonization Saint Elizabeth was beatified by Pope John XXII on March 17, 1963. Pope John XXII stated, in a house that was very small but with ample space for charity, she sowed the seed in a miracle which by divine grace grew into a large tree. When a man with brain issues was healed after praying to Saint Elizabeth, she was canonized by Pope Paul VI on September 14, 1975. Today, her body is in the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth and Seton in Emmitsburg, Maryland. St. Elizabeth's feast day is on January 4th. She was made the patron saint of Catholic schools, seafarers, widows, Louisiana, and the state of Maryland. In fact, St. Elizabeth is the first native-born American to be canonized. Overview St. Elizabeth was born on August 28, 1774 in New York. St. Elizabeth's parents are Richard Bailey and Catherine Charlton. St. Elizabeth founded the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth, Sisters of Charity of New York, Sisters of Charity of Cincinnati, Sisters of Charity of Seton Hill. Death St. Elizabeth died on January 4th at the age of 46 in Maryland. St. Elizabeth is the patron saint of Catholic schools, seafarers, widows, Louisiana, and the state of Maryland. Prayer Lord God, you bless Elizabeth and Seton with gifts of grace as wife and mother, educator, and foundress, so that she might spend her life in service to your people. Through our example and praise, may we learn to express our love for you and love for our fellow men and women. We ask this true, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to know more about other saints. Thank you.